<laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so can I start now? Yeah, ready when you are. All right, so my app is called uh, Movie Finder, and that's the logo for my app. So basically what my app does is, so it's basically just like a simple movie app. Wait, hold on. Can you move like the, uh, the faces? I think you just drag it. Just drag it. Are you, and there's like a thing in the upper left corner. We don't see it, but in the upper left right. corner, yeah, you can like minimize it. There we go. Now I got it. Okay, so basically my, my app is, can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. All right, so my, uh, it's called Movie Finder and it's a simple movie app that will help quickly recommend movies to users based on specific genres, filters, and the shuffle movie functionality. So Movie Finder will be able to keep track of those movies that you want to watch by providing users with a movie watch list. And then there's also going to be like a movie scene list for movies you guys have seen already. So I came up with this idea because um, with the rapid growth of uh, advancement of technology, there is like no more need for stores like Blockbuster. And you go from having to choose like like a store full of options of movies you want to watch to like like an infinite amount of choices on the computer so you can basically watch whatever movie you want on the computer nowadays and with my app you can find good movie recommendations based on personal preferences quickly versus having to scroll you have you're gonna have to keep scrolling through like netflix or hulu options and all that so um, when I was doing research, I found out that 90% of U.S. adults claim to watch or stream movies every day, which is an equivalent of 60 to 62 million people. And an additional 26% state that they watch several movies per week, which is an equivalent of 147 million people. So I think the, the area to, to come out with like a movie app helping people choose what movie they want to watch is uh, like high right now. So of those 45% of people that, that state that they watch several movies per week, um, most of them spend a sin, significant amount of time trying to decide what movie they watch. With, and on average, people take about 51 minutes to try and find the movie they want to watch. One of the biggest apps on the market right now is um, IM, IMDB. And when I was doing research on this app, I found that a lot of it is congested with stuff like facts about actors or just photos about movies and stuff when I just want to be able to scroll through movies that I want to watch, not a lot of random information. So the solution to that was that I made it a simple UI with just movies and no extra stuff. And one of the big things I don't like to do when I'm searching for movies is like I get tired of scrolling and having to see all these movies uh, through like a list. So I came up with this function for my app. It's called the shuffle function. So all you have to do is that you can select what genre you feel like watching, whether it be um, like an action movie or like a mystery movie. And then you can sh shuffle the movie. So you click the shuffle button and it picks a movie randomly for you. So, the next big step I want to do is implement like streaming services, like availability. So let's say that you only have like Netflix and you just want to be able to pick from like a list of Netflix movies, then in the app, you will be able to choose that you only have a Netflix account and then it will filter out movies for only Netflix. Or if you have Netflix and Hulu, then you, it will filter out, filter out Netflix and Hulu movies. And then eventually I want to monetize the app by creating more themes for the app where you can unlock and also extra shuffles. So the free version will be maybe like five shuffles and then you're gonna, you will have to upgrade the app to get more shuffles. So that's basically it for the presentation. And I'll do a demo of the app right now. 
So this is app right now, and this is the home page. So you can see right away, you get to see like a quick list of now playing movies and you can scroll. You can see popular movies, top rated movies, um, or upcoming movies. And then you can just click on it to get like more details about it. So it gives you the, the title, the year, the rating, and then you can also look for similar movies, the movie plot, and then uh, actors down here also. Um, hold on. And you can also go here and then you can choose what kind of movie you feel like watching today. So let's say that I feel like watching a crime movie and it'll give you just like the, the top crime movies that they have right now. And um, you can also click and it also gives you the detail screen. And you can click here with the play button and it'll show you like a, the trailer for it. So you can, you can click play and then it pops up on the big screen. Oh, I'll speak a little loud. And you can exit out. And so I'll show you guys my favorite feature right now, which is the shuffle feature. So let's say I watch a movie like uh, that I liked, like Annabelle or something, and I want to watch a similar movie to that. So I'll just type in Annabelle. And it comes up with like a, a list of some of the movies. So I'll click on the original one and I'll say, okay, I want to watch a movie similar to Annabelle. So I click similar movies and it will pop this up and I say, okay, well just pick one for me at random. So then we have the shuffle feature and it picks a movie similar to Annabelle. And then you can keep, click, um, keep clicking uh, shuffle and it'll keep shuffling and pick a movie for you. And let's say you say, okay, well, I've already seen this movie. So you can just say, all right, I've seen it and it adds it to the scene list. And then when you keep shuffling, it won't recommend the movie again because it knows that you've already seen it. And then you can just click uh, add to watch list also. So a movie that you want to watch eventually. And you can see those movies, um, put your account and it's on my movies. And you can see the movies you want to watch and the movies you've already seen. And you can rate those movies five stars or two stars or one, however you want. So I think that's, that's basically the idea of my app. Okay, thanks Alexis. Uh